I am gentleman. This is my call. Welcome to the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Please enjoy the video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I have one question. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night thinking, if you were to be on a desert island, what three things would you need to survive? Well, one, you would need a hat. If you've got a dome like mine, you need to protect the sun from it. Two, you would need fantastic, glorious glasses because they will stop you getting eye strain and you don't want eye strain where there is no pharmacies around. And three, you would need some flowers. If you've got flowers, it tells you, it tells the natives, it tells the world, that you are a friendly, friendly person. So what are we doing to you today? We are playing, we are playing Castaway on the Amstrad CPC. And why are we playing this game? Well, I saw this when I was looking at another game. I saw the title of it. And while I was traveling recently for work, I learned that the film Castaway with Tom Hanks is not a true story. The author of the book actually spent some time living on an island to experience what it would be like, but the actual story is not true. And with a game called Castaway, well, let's make our own story together. So this is Castaway loaded onto the Mr. FPJ being recreated on the Amstrad and it's by the T team as you can see there. No relation to the A team but by the T team. And look at that hero there. He's got more hair on his dome than what I've got but he's got a lesser beard than me I feel. He's got a Bruce Willis um, t-shirt. No not a t-shirt. A Bruce Willis vest even and you know he's going to try and survive and we will help him survive. So let's press space to get into this game. And here we are, Castaway, joystick, keyboard, or redefine. Nice little island in the background, and I already think when I see this, and this will show how old some of you will be. If you remember this, I want you to think back to Windows 95. And one name, one name of a software title, Johnny Castaway. Brilliant game, and that gives me Johnny Castaway vibes. So let's press fire to start the game. Is that going to let us in? Nope. Okay, let's press 1 for joystick. There we go. We're in. We are in. And this is our hero. He looks a bit younger there than what he does on the, on, on the picture. And oh, look at this. Look, look, look. As he's walking around, we've got Footprints in the Sand. That sounds a beautiful name for a song, doesn't it? Footprints in the Sand. What I am taking to this island is actually something that's going to help me through this video because although I am so much better than what I was my voice is still a little bit croaky with too much talking and I have some British water this cup I actually uh, stole from a company years and years ago it must be at least 15 years old and it's still going strong so let's go on a journey here so what we got we got a backpack well we must collect things we got hydrate, I guess how first are we are. Well, I've had a sip of water, so I'm fine. And we've got energy, and we've got time. So, ah, okay, it's flip screen, so, all right. So, let's go back here, let's go here. Oh, look, look. Ah, oh, I thought the feet stayed in the sand, do they? No, they don't. All right, so this is going to say hello. No, clearly it's going to say help. All right, so let's keep going here. And we have an item. All right, so you walk over the items and you pick them up. So this reminds me of the old Spectrum games where you collect objects literally by touching them and bang, it's in your inventory. And that is a hatchet, I guess. Okay, so let's go here. And yes, we can get through that. Okay, up here. Oh, oh look at this. What is this? Okay, we got a, we got a map, I guess not sure how we use objects the instructions because i did briefly look at them said something about holding fire and the direction you're facing but i really don't know all right anyway let's go down here and we're going to carry on exploring so i think the first thing we need to do is have a drink oh we've got two hatchets now glory be all right and we've got a Ah, right, okay, so that, what I thought was a compass, and I was going to say, oh, we've got a compass, is actually something to drink. All right, up here, and there's a mutant native. Well, 
We have flowers. We have flowers, so we're going to be fine. Let's go and say hello. Maybe he'll talk to us. No, oh, up here. No, down here. Oh, hang on. He's spawned over there. Bollocks. All right, up here. Down here. Can we talk to you? Hello. Oh, that didn't sound good. Game over. You have been captured. You probably serve as food. You will never see your girlfriend again. Okay, so fire again. Well, that ended pretty quickly. So one for joystick again. And this game, you can download this yourself. I'll put the URL up in a little bit of time to actually show you what you've got. And we're just going to explore. Right, so how do we use that? Fire and right? No, okay. Ah, okay, so it automatically used it. So that hatchet won't knock down those trees, but it did kill that grass. All right, okay. So we need more hatchets. Okay, that was water. We'll ignore that. Get a hatchet. These are rocks that we can't cross. Okay, understood. Head right here. Oh, and there's another map, I guess. Okay, and what is that? Oh, energy. All right, so the red bags is energy. The compass looking thing is water. We're learning, we are learning. Oh, oh, I've got a hatchet, can I kill you? No, bollocks. All right, they're gonna be a pain in the ass. Off we go again. So up. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about this cough. I shouldn't have a cough on a desert island or with my glorious hat. But there we go, up again, up again. Oh, look, that guy there, who's now gone, wasn't there before. Oh, he's there now. Okay, things are random here. So the hatchet was nowhere to be found. Can we, uh, okay, this makes it, I suppose, a hell of a lot harder with random placement of objects. Oh, and there was a telescope. All right, Johnny Castaway that I mentioned at the foot of this video. It was really kind of cool with some of the things that he did on the animations. It was a screensaver and it basically had, oh, an ax. Okay, that will probably be good for trees. Oh, let's get some energy. Yes, all right, no, hang on. Well, something took that tree down. Hang on, did the telescope take the tree down? No, surely not. Oh, a little bit confused there. But yeah, Johnny Castaway, it had so many different scenarios for this screensaver. And on certain days of the year, it did special things. It did different things. You know, it really is old, but it generally is great. I might do a video of it. And how would I do a video? Well, I'll just let the bloody thing run and run and run to see what you could see. You know, much like the demo ones we do. All right, up here. Grab that. Envelope. Oh, I don't know how to use these things. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying the free fire buttons. On this joystick, I've got free fire buttons to find. So I'm using all of those to see whether that helps me. And we're just going on a journey to make progress. Oh, I want that key. Okay, up, up, up. All right, so we probably... Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. How did we survive that? Oh, it's not a map, it's a bridge. Oh, for fuck's sake, I put it in the wrong place. Oh, oh look, 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 we now got a bloody snake there as well. All right, let's not touch that snake. This game will probably send you all the snakes there now, or potty in some respects. You know, the, the, the random spawning of some of the objects here. But hopefully, hopefully, we've got the right amount to help us through where we need to be going. But I really don't have a clue. All right, let's get some water. Can I get that water? Why I can't drink from those puddles, I don't know, but hey, it doesn't matter. I once played a game on the ZX Spectrum. I actually own the game, and the game is called Crusoe. And it is really, really hard, and it's a survival um, type game. I think you've got to get off the island by automator. 
but could I ever do it? No, I couldn't in hell. But really, really hard game. And that goes for a fair bit of money. I do own the original, as I say, of that. But, but a challenging game. And I think this is probably going to have the same vibes to it. Alright, we've got some first aid, which is good. You know, this is not going to be easy. Especially with the random placement of stuff. And, you know, the rules of engagement, I really don't even know what they are. Right, let's get that. No, let's miss that. Let's grab that. And let's try and get to that key. But I can't get to Damn it. Alright. I don't even know what to do. You know, there, there will be rules to this. Some people will have to play and be bang. Yes, all sorted. But me, I'm struggling a little bit. Right, more first aid, good. I really need more things that I thought were maps to make bridges to cross that water. This is clearly the first challenge. I've got to cross that water. And as he automatically uses objects, I need to find another... Oh, hello, what is this? There's a hut there as well. Do I need the key? Oh, oh. Hang on. Why did that snake not kill me? Is this snake not bad? I need to experiment. Oh, now it's bloody gone. Typical, typical, typical. Right, can I get to that hut? Because I have a key. And look at this. You've got different trees. You seem to have apple trees there as well. Alright, so 3 minutes 47 of not knowing what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. It's got to be across the river. I can't think what else I need to do. So let's go up here. And try and go right. And down. And go down another screen if we can. And then head right. Oh, look, 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 that's what I want. I know I'm stuck here. I want that map thing there that doesn't seem to be randomly disappearing. All right, so, bollocks, let's go up here. Oh, fuck, where do we go? This this is a very busy island for being cast away on, and a hostile one so far as well. Okay. Oh, I'm truly stuck. It's a fun exploring game. It is fun, don't get me wrong. I'm just not understanding the, the terms of how to get through this. And by the terms of how to get through it, what am I doing wrong? Okay, ah, we got this. Alright. So let's be careful. Let's go all the way to the right. On these games, we don't always play them too long, e.g. we won't, won't be here 20 hours because I don't want to give spoilers or anything like that. And for this one, you may be at risk for giving spoilers if you play for too long, but we're going to give it a good shot. You know, we're, we're doing all right, you know. Where are we? We're actually five minutes into his life on the side. Aha, a bridge part. All right. Ah, oh, fuck it. For fuck, holy hell. Five minutes, 11 and I'll die straight away. Okay, one more go. One more go to be better. To be better than where we were. Let's go north. See what random objects we've got. Okay, we've got the bridge. Grab that. Okay, so this kind of takes us back to where we were before. What I was trying to do, which was go all the way to the right. Okay, let's get the hatchet. The sea. Can you hear the sea in the background? You know, it's good where you get these really old games and the effects do represent what you would hope to be hearing. Alright, let's get some water. And we're going to try and keep going right. Yes, right, let's grab. I think I should probably get that hatch in. Get that bit of bridge. Yes, we have done it. We have achieved a bridge crossing. Oh, oh, let's wait. Can he cross that bridge we create? I'm over here. Come on, come get me. 
Yes, you can. Oh, how cool is that? You change the environment and the enemies use it as well. That's good pathfinding, that really, really is. Oh, and look, we're on the eastern side of the island. Okay. So maybe there's a boat here. Another letter. Another bridge part. I wonder what happens if our backpack gets full. Okay, you're gone. So let's go this way. Oh, that was a little bit close. He got a little bit close to me there. Some more energy. Down here, I think the hatchets, if I recall, would cut the long grass. Hello, run away from you. And go this way here. These are not paths I'm on here. You know, they're just shortcuts. You know, this, this lighter area that I'm walking on. So not shortcuts, edge boundaries, right? Yes, so the hatchet cuts through that. So we've gone through that. And we are back here. All right, so let's go north. So we're going to try and stay on this side of the river. Okay, we've got no more hatches to accidentally waste, which is a bit of a shame. I didn't mean to use that then. We can't get through here. How do we escape? And why have we seen no keys? I think we're going to go back here. Oh, oh for fuck it. I wasted my bridge bits. You utter tool. And look, I can't even cross with anything useful. What a fucking idiot I am. Yeah, that would have been ideal for here. That would have been absolutely ideal. Kick that down. This is a really nice exploring game. You know, little journeys we're going on here. Not the easiest of game because the way the natives is, is instant death if they touch you, but it works. It actually works. And you become afraid of the natives literally running away from them. You know, I am running away from them when they appear. Right, okay. Focus. Nope, another dead end. Brilliant. So we go around. Oh, hatchet, that could be useful. If I don't waste it like the bridge parts on oh, another. It wants us to succeed, it wants us to win. You know, we've got we've got tiger blood in us. Cast away tiger blood and we are gonna win this game. Well, not today, but we're gonna try and win one one day. I don't know what these letters do. Ah, right, so if I push fire next to the objects, it toggles them. Good letters seem pointless. Right, well, energy isn't pointless. Let's grab that. Oh, our uh, bridge part. Look, look, look. Can I get to it without touching anything to hack away at it? Boom, got it. All right, so I hope some of you are asking where. Gentlemen, where can we download this game for ourselves? Well, that's on the ticker for you at the moment. And again, I'm playing this on the Amstrad system, recreated on the Mr. FPGA. All run away from you. Ah, keys, we are, we are finding stuff. Yes, good. Another hatchet, so we probably want to get rid of a letter. So you stand facing it and you push fire and it toggles and leaves something on the ground. Okay, another, oh, another key. I'm truly lost. And 11 seconds to go and we would have beaten our failure on 
the last time we played. Perfect. So the letters are basically just shit objects. They might have a purpose, but I can't see a purpose for them. Oh, look, hydrate is really low. That is going to be a problem. Energy high, come on, water bollocks. Oh, we Let's get a saw. Oh, just, just as it's getting interesting in terms of things, things going on, I now run out of. Oh, no, no, oh, no, and look, he's all there. Come on, run, run, run. Well, well, look, at, look at this, my hydrate is almost at nothing. Alright, so we've crossed that river. We have crossed the river. Oh, no, there's no water there. Why is there no water there? Oh, look, it's nearly game over. It's going to be game over. Unless there was a... No, it's, oh, it is a bit of health. Bollocks. Yes. Oh, I can't get in there. I was hoping the key would let me in and do something. Oh, fuck. 6.17. Well, we survived a minute more. And I uh, don't know where to go. Really don't know where to go. And I'm dead. Game over. I will dehydrate And can't continue. A native will find you. And probably serve you as food. Well, I hope you have these delicate flowers on as well. To make the dish absolutely perfect well i've enjoyed that and i hope you've enjoyed the video we're playing a few different things from what we normally play once in a while every game we try and do differently and seeing this thinking when i was thinking about castaway when i was away when i learned a little bit more about that film i had to play this and am i pleased i am you bet i am all of you stay safe all of you take care and i will see you in the next video goodbye I'm not a gentleman, I'm a Nigerian prince, so probably suggest you all subscribe to this channel, peace out.